Governor General, plural governors general or governor general, plural governors general in modern usage is the title of an office holder appointed to represent the monarch of a sovereign state in the governing of an independent realm. Governors general have also previously been appointed in respect of major colonial states or other territories held by either a monarchy or republic such as French Indochina. Topic: <laughs> Current uses. In modern usage, the term Governor-General originated in those British colonies which became self-governing within the British Empire. Before World War I, the title was used only in federated colonies in which each of the previously constituent colonies of these federated colonies already had a governor, namely Canada, Australia, and the Union of South Africa. In these cases, the Crown's representative in the federated dominion was given the superior title of Governor-General. The first exception to this rule was New Zealand, which was granted dominion status in 1907, but it was not until 28 June 1917 that Arthur Foljam, 2nd Earl of Liverpool, was appointed the first Governor-General of New Zealand. Another non-federal state, Newfoundland, was a dominion for 16 years with the King's representative retaining the title of Governor throughout this time. Since 2016, the title Governor-General has been given to all representatives of the sovereign in independent Commonwealth realms. In these cases, the former office of colonial governor was altered sometimes for the same incumbent to become Governor-General upon independence, as the nature of the office became an entirely independent constitutional representative of the monarch rather than a symbol of previous colonial rule. In these countries the Governor-General acts as the monarch's representative, performing the ceremonial and constitutional functions of a head of state. The only other nation which uses the Governor-General designation is Iran, which has no connection with any monarchy or the Commonwealth. In Iran, the provincial authority is headed by a Governor-General Persian, a stander ostander, who is appointed by the Minister of the Interior. British colonialism and the Governors-General Until the 1920s, Governors-General were British subjects, appointed on the advice of the British government, who acted as agents of the British government in each dominion, as well as being representatives of the monarch. As such they notionally held the prerogative powers of the monarch, and also held the executive power of the country to which they were assigned. The Governor-General could be instructed by the Colonial Secretary on the exercise of some of his functions and duties, such as the use or withholding of the royal assent from legislation. History shows many examples of Governors-General using their prerogative and executive powers. The monarch or imperial government could overrule any Governor-General, though this could often be cumbersome, due to remoteness of the territories from London. The Governor-General was also usually the Commander-in-Chief of the armed forces in his or her territory and, because of the Governor-General's control of the military, the post was as much a military appointment as a civil one. The Governors-General are entitled to wear a unique uniform, which is not generally worn today. If of the rank of Major General, equivalent or above, they were entitled to wear that military uniform. Modern Commonwealth Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Commonwealth Realms Following the Imperial Conference, and subsequent issuing of the Balfour Declaration in 1926, the role and responsibilities of the Governor-General began to shift, reflecting the increased independence of the Dominions which were in 1952 renamed realms, a term which includes the UK itself. As the sovereign came to be regarded as monarch of each territory independently, and, as such, advised only by the ministers of each country in regard to that country's national affairs as opposed to a single British monarch ruling all the dominions as a conglomerate and advised only by an imperial parliament, so too did the governor-general become a direct representative of the national monarch only, who no longer answered to the British government. The report resulting from the 1926 Imperial Conference stated,
less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 it is an essential consequence of the equality of status existing among the members of the British Commonwealth of Nations that the Governor General of a Dominion is the representative of the Crown, holding in all essential respects the same position in relation to the administration of public affairs in the Dominion as is held by His Majesty the King in Great Britain, and that he is not the representative or agent of His Majesty's government in Great Britain or of any department of that government." These concepts were entrenched in legislation with the enactment of the Statute of Westminster in 1931, and governmental relations with the United Kingdom were placed in the hands of a British High Commissioner in each country. In other words, the political reality of a self-governing dominion within the British Empire with a Governor-General answerable to the Sovereign became clear. British interference in the Dominion was not acceptable and independent country status was clearly displayed. Canada, Australia, and New Zealand were clearly not controlled by the United Kingdom. The monarch of these countries Elizabeth II is in law Queen of Canada, Queen of Australia, and Queen of New Zealand and only acts on the advice of the ministers in each country and is in no way influenced by the British government. Today, therefore, in former British colonies which are now independent Commonwealth realms, the Governor-General is constitutionally the representative of the monarch in his or her state and may exercise the reserve powers of the monarch according to their own constitutional authority. The Governor-General, however, is still appointed by the monarch and takes an oath of allegiance to the monarch of their own country. Executive authority is also vested in the monarch, though much of it can be exercisable only by the Governor-General on behalf of the Sovereign of the Independent Realm. Letters of credence or letters of recall are now sometimes received or issued in the name of the monarch, though, in some countries, such as Canada and Australia, the letters of credence and recall are issued in the name of the Governor-General alone. At diplomatic functions where the Governor-General is present, the visiting diplomat or head of state toasts, the King or the Queen of the relevant realm, not the Governor-General, with any reference to the Governor-General being subsidiary in later toasts if featuring at all, and will involve a toast to them by name, not office, e.g. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, not Her Excellency, the Governor-General. Sometimes a toast might be made using name and office, e.g. Governor-General Smith. Except in rare cases, the Governor-General only acts in accordance with constitutional convention and upon the advice of the National Prime Minister. The Governor-General is still the local representative of the Sovereign and performs the same duties as they carried out historically, though their role is almost purely ceremonial. Rare and controversial exceptions occurred in 1926, when Canadian Governor-General the Viscount Bing of Vimy refused Prime Minister Mackenzie King's request for a dissolution of Parliament, in 1953 and 1954 when the Governor-General of Pakistan, Ghulam Muhammad, staged a constitutional coup against the Prime Minister and then the Constituent Assembly, and in 1975, when the Governor-General of Australia, Sir John Kerr, dismissed the Prime Minister, Gough Whitlam. In some realms, the monarch could in principle overrule a governor-general, but this has not happened in modern times. In Australia the present queen is generally assumed to be head of state, since the governor-general and the state governors are defined as her representatives. However, since the governor-general performs almost all national regal functions, the governor-general has occasionally been referred to as head of state in political and media discussion. To a lesser extent, uncertainty has been expressed in Canada as to which officeholder—the monarch, the governor-general, or both—can be considered the head of state. The governor-general is usually a person with a distinguished record of public service, often a retired politician, judge or military commander, but some countries have also appointed prominent academics, members of the clergy, philanthropists, or figures from the news media to the office. Traditionally, the Governor-General's official attire was a unique uniform, but this practice has been abandoned except on occasions when it is appropriate to be worn and in some countries abandoned altogether. In South Africa, the Governor-General of the Union of South Africa nominated by the Afrikaner Nationalist Government chose not to wear uniform on any occasion. Most Governors-General continue to wear appropriate medals on their clothing when required. The Governor-General's official residence is usually called Government House. The Governor-General of the Irish Free State resided in the then Viceregal Lodge in Phoenix Park, Dublin, but the government of Eamon de Valera sought to downgrade the office and the last Governor-General, Donal Ua Bwachala, did not reside there. 
The office was abolished there in 1936. In most Commonwealth realms, the flag of the Governor-General has been the standard pattern of a blue field with the royal crest a lion standing on a crown above a scroll with the name of the jurisdiction. In Canada, however, this was replaced with a crowned lion clasping a maple leaf. In the Solomon Islands, the scroll was replaced with a two-headed frigate bird motif, while in Fiji, the former Governor-General's flag featured a whale's tooth. In New Zealand, the flag was replaced in 2008 with the shield of the coat of arms of New Zealand surmounted by a crown on a blue field. Governors General are accorded the style of His, Her Excellency. This style is also extended to their spouses, whether female or male. Appointment <inaudible> 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 Until the 1920s, the governors-general were British, and appointed on the advice of the British government. Following the changes to the structure of the Commonwealth in the late 1920s, in 1929, the Australian Prime Minister James Scullin established the right of a Dominion Prime Minister to advise the monarch directly on the appointment of a governor-general, by insisting that his choice Isaac Isaacs, an Australian, prevail over the recommendation of the British government. The convention was gradually established throughout the Commonwealth that the Governor-General would be a citizen of the country concerned, and would be appointed on the advice of the government of that country, with no input from the British government, Governor-General of Canada since 1952 and Governor-General of New Zealand since 1967. Since 1931 as each former Dominion has patriated its constitution from the UK, the convention has become law, or, since 1947, when the first realms established with a patriated constitution, India and Pakistan, were established, was always law, and no government of any realm can advise the monarch on any matter pertaining to another realm, including the appointment of a governor-general. The monarch appoints a governor general in Canada, governor general as a personal representative only on the advice of the prime minister of each realm. For example, the governor general of New Zealand is appointed by the Queen of New Zealand on the advice of the New Zealandian prime minister. The governor general of Tuvalu is appointed by the Queen of Tuvalu on the advice of the Tuvaluan prime minister, and the governor general of Jamaica is appointed by the Queen of Jamaica on the advice of the Jamaican prime minister. In Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands, the Prime Minister's advice is based on the result of a vote in the national parliament. The formalities for appointing governors-general are not the same in all the realms. For example, when appointed, a Governor-General of Australia issues a proclamation in his own name, countersigned by the head of government and under the Great Seal of Australia, formally announcing that he has been appointed by the Monarchs Commission, previously issued also under the Great Seal of Australia. The practice in Canada is to include in the Governor-General's proclamation of appointment, issued under the Great Seal of Canada, the Monarch's Commission naming the Governor-General as Commander-in-Chief of the Canadian Forces also dissimilar among the realms are the powers of Governors-General. The Belizean Constitution provides the Governor-General with the power to assent or to withhold assent to laws, while Papua New Guinea has no requirement for royal assent at all, with laws entering into force when certified as having been passed in Parliament by the Speaker. Topic. Commonwealth countries with a Governor-General Other attributes Different realms have different constitutional arrangements governing who acts in place of the Governor-General in the event of his or her death, resignation, or incapacity. In Australia, an administrator of the Commonwealth may be appointed to perform the necessary official functions, pending a decision by the Sovereign, on the advice of the Prime Minister, about a permanent replacement as Governor-General. The administrator has usually been the senior state governor. Each state governor normally holds what is known as a dormant commission. There have been cases where a governor has fallen out of favour with the government, causing their dormant commission to be revoked. The most recent example was that of Sir Colin Hanna, Governor of Queensland, in 1975. In the Bahamas, Barbados, Canada, Jamaica, and New Zealand, it is the Chief Justice. In Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands and Tuvalu it is the Speaker. Many Caribbean countries have a specific office of Deputy Governor General. Former Commonwealth realms. 
The title has been used in many former British colonies, which became independent realms and then later became republics. Each of these realms had a governor-general. In Africa Governor-General of the Gambia 1965 to 1970 Governor-General of Ghana 1957 to 1960 Governor-General of Kenya 1963-1964 Governor-General of Malawi 1964 to 1966 Governor-General of Mauritius 1968 to 1992 Governor General of Nigeria 1960 to 1963 Governor General of Sierra Leone 1961 to 1971 Governor General of the Union of South Africa 1910 to 1961 Governor General of Tanganyika 1961-1962 Governor General of Uganda 1962-1963 in Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, a unique situation arose following the unilateral declaration of independence in 1965, unrecognized by the United Kingdom. The Rhodesian Front government of Ian Smith recognized Elizabeth II as Queen of Rhodesia, but refused to recognize the authority of her governor Sir Humphrey Gibbs, whose duties were performed by an officer administering the government, Clifford Dupont (1905–1978). DuPont served in the post until 2 March 1970, when Rhodesia was declared a republic an act also unrecognized internationally and he became president. The country became an independent republic within the Commonwealth as Zimbabwe on 18 April 1980. In the Americas Governor General of Guyana 1966 to 1970 Governor General of Trinidad and Tobago 1962 to 1976 Topic in Asia Governor General of Ceylon 1948 to 1972 Governor General of India 1947 to 1950 Governor General of Pakistan 1947 to 1956 Topic in Europe Governor General of the Irish Free State 1922 to 1936 Governor General of Malta 1964 to 1974 Topic in Oceania Governor General of Fiji 1970 to 1987 Governor General of Tuvalu Topic Other colonial and similar usage Topic Belgium Belgian Congo Rwanda Arundi Topic France. The equivalent word in French is Governor General, used in the following colonies. From 1887 to 1945, the French appointed a Governor General to govern French Indochina (now Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia). The function of High Commissioner in the Pacific Ocean, from the 22nd of March 1907, held by the governors of New Caledonia, was used to coordinate that colony, the other French settlements in Oceania, and the Governors General of French Indochina and the resident commissioners of the New Hebrides and the residents of Wallace and Futuna were subordinated to him. Governor General of New France was the vice regal post in New France from 1663 until 1760 and was the last French vice regal post. It was replaced by the British post of Governor of the Province of Quebec following the fall of New France. While the districts of Montreal and Trois Rivières had their own governors, the Governor General of New France and the Governor of the District of Quebec were the same person. From 1699 to 1947, the French appointed a Governor-General to administer French India including Pondicherry. 
Governors General of the Mascarene Islands under control of the Chartered Company des Indies to the 14th of July 1767 from the 4th of June 1735 succeeding to governors and after its split up of Mauritius Réunion and the Seychelles got lower styled commandants or governors till the 25th of September 1803 Haiti January 1714 to the 31st of December 1803 last incumbent Jean Jacques Dessalines shortly maintained the title after the January I 1804 independence before proclaiming himself Emperor Jacques the first since its creation on the 16th of June 1895 in French West Africa AOF until the 4th of April 1957 the last stayed on as first of two high commissioners Madagascar From 28 June 1908, previously it had a Commissaire General, i.e. Commissioner General to 4 April 1957 the last stayed on as first of three High Commissioners in French Equatorial Africa AEF. .During several periods he also acted as Governor of the Constitutive Colony Congo Brazzaville. Furthermore, in Napoleonic Europe successive French Governors General were appointed by Napoleon I in the German states of Brandenburg various others got mere governors, two incumbents between 27 October 1806 and 10 December 1808, during the French occupation Province of Courland under the French occupation from 1 August 1812, Duchy of Courland and Semigalia and District of Pilton nominally re-established under joint French-Saxon protectorate 8 October 1812 – 20 December 1812, Jacques David Martin, Baron de Campreden Parma and Piacenza under occupation after a commissioner the 15th of February 1804 to the 23rd of July 1808 later annexed as département under a prefect of Taro Principality of Piombino May 1806 to 1811 Adolphe Bovet D 1811 annexed Tuscany two incumbents over prefects for Arno Mediterranean Mediterranean and Ambrone May 1808 to the 3rd of March 1809 Jacques François de Bousset Baron de Menou 1750 to 1810 The 3rd of March 1809 to the 1st of February 1814 Elisa Bacciochi Bonaparte with courtesy style of Grand Duchess of Tuscany 1777 to 1820 the Illyrian provinces comprising present Croatia, Slovenia and even adjacent parts of Austria and Italy, annexed as part of the French Empire proper, 14 October 1809 to August 1813. <laughs> <laughs> Netherlands From 1691 to 1948 the Dutch appointed a Governor-General Governor -General to govern the Netherlands East Indies, now Indonesia. While in the Caribbean, various other titles were used. Curaçao had three governors general between 1816 and 1820. 1816-1819 Albert Kickert 1819-1820 Petrus Bernardus van Starkenborg 1820 Isaac Johannes Rammelman Elsevier Portugal. The equivalent word in Portuguese is governor geral. This title was only used for the governors of the major colonies, indicating that they had, under their authority, several subordinate governors. In most of the colonies, lower titles, mainly governator governor or formerly captain major Mor, prevailed. In the Portuguese state of India, Estado da India capital Goa, the style was changed repeatedly for another, mostly vice-rei vice the viceroy title was usually reserved for members of the Portuguese royal family, the remaining governors receiving the title of governor general. In Brazil, after a few governors, from 1578 till its promotion in 1763 to a viceroyalty, though various members of the nobility since 1640 had assumed, without sovereign authority, the title of viceroy. In Africa, from 1837 Portugal appointed a governor-general to govern the overseas province of Angola, and another to govern the province of Mocambique. For some time, a governor-general was also appointed to rule Cape Verde and Portuguese Guinea, while these territories were united in a single province. Between 1921 and 1930, additional powers were given to some of the Angola and Mozambique governors, who were restyled in full Alto Comissario e Governador-Geral High Commissioner and Governor-General.
Topic: <laughs> Philippines. The Philippines from the 16th through the 20th century had a series of governors general during the Spanish and American colonial periods, as well as the Japanese occupation of the Philippines during World War II. Topic: <laughs> Spain. From 21 November 1564 the Spanish East Indies had a governor-general, which was under the Viceroy of New Spain based in Mexico. After the successful Mexican War of Independence in 1821, the governor-general reported directly to Spain. <laughs> United States of America from 1899 to 1935 under the Insular Government, the Philippines was administered by a series of Governors General, first military and then civilian, appointed by the United States Federal Government. Other Western usage Greece. The Balkan Wars of 1912–13 led to the Greek acquisition of the so-called New Lands, Epirus, Macedonia, Crete and the islands of the Eastern Aegean, almost doubling the country's territory. Instead of fully incorporating these new lands into Greece by dividing them into prefectures, the Ottoman administrative system continued in existence for a while, and Law Durld of 1913 established five governorates general, Genikai Dioikizais Singh. Janike Dioikisis Epirus, Macedonia, Crete, Aegean and Samos Akaria. The governors-general had wide-ranging authority in their territories, and were almost autonomous of the government in Athens. Law 524 in 1914 abolished the governorates general and divided the new lands into regular prefectures, but in 1918 Law 1149 reinstated them as a superordinate administrative level above the prefectures, with Macedonia now divided in two governorates general, those of Thessaloniki and Kozani Florina. The governors general of Thessaloniki, Crete and Epirus were also given ministerial rank. To these was added the Governorate General of Thrace in 1920-22, comprising Western Thrace and Eastern Thrace returned to Turkey in the Armistice of Mudanya in 1922. The extensive but hitherto legally rather undefined powers of the Governors General created friction and confusion with other government branches, until their remit was exactly delineated in 1925. The Governorates General, except for that of Thessaloniki, were abolished in 1928, but re-established in December 1929—for Crete, Epirus, Thrace, and Macedonia—and delegated practically all ministerial authorities for their respective areas. Over the next decade, however, in a seesaw of legislative measures that in turns gave and took away authority, they gradually lost most of their powers in favor of the prefectures and the central government in Athens. Following liberation from the Axis occupation, in 1945 the Governorate General of Northern Greece was established, initially with subordinate governorates for West Macedonia, Central Macedonia, East Macedonia, and Thrace, the first three of which were then grouped anew into a new Governorate General of Macedonia, albeit still subject to the Governorate General of Northern Greece. This awkward arrangement lasted until 1950, when the administration of Macedonia was streamlined, the junior governorates abolished and only the Governorate General of Northern Greece retained. Finally, in 1955, the Governorate General of Northern Greece was transformed into the Ministry of Northern Greece, and all other governorates general elsewhere in Greece were abolished. Other. Governor General in the Swedish realm From 1636 to 1815, Sweden typically appointed the Governors General of Sweden for the Swedish dominions on the eastern side of the Baltic and in northern Germany, but occasionally also for Scania. From 1809 to 1918 Russia designated Governors General of Finland in the Grand Duchy of Finland, Governors General of Poland in Vistula Land and other Governors General in various other Governorates General. From 1939 to 1944, during the German occupation of Poland, in that part of the country designated the general government the Nazi official Hans Frank had the title Governor General German, General Governor for die besetzten Polnischen Gebiete, Governor General of the Occupied Polish Areas.
The Kingdom of Saxony had two governors general during the period of Allied control of the general government Zaxen after the defeat of the French Emperor Napoleon I. The 28 October 1813 to the 8 November 1814, Prince Nikolai Grigorievich Repnin Volkonsky, Russia, 1778 to 1845. The 8th of November 1814 to the 8th of June 1815, Eberhard Friedrich Christoph Ludwig, Freiherr von der Rick, Prussia, 1744 to 1826. During the occupation of Serbia by Austrian-Hungarian and Bulgarian forces in World War I, the Austrian-Hungarian government appointed three consecutive governors general. The 1st of January 1916 to July 1916, Johann Ulrich Graf von Sala Siewis, 1862 to 1940. July 1916 to October 1918, Adolf Freiherr von Remen zu Berensfeld, 1855 to 1932. October 1918 to the 1st of November 1918, Hermann Freiherr Kovas von Kovashaza, 1854 to 1924, a former military commander in northern Serbia. Topic: <laughs> Asian counterparts. From 1644 to 1911, in Qing Dynasty China, a governor general or viceroy simplified Chinese, Zongdu traditional Chinese, Zongdu pinyin, Zongdu, Wade Giles, Sung 321 was the highest official of joint military and civil affairs in one or several provinces. The hereditary shogun of Japan, Japanese, Jung Yi Da Jong Jun Sei I Tai Shogun, who ruled in the name of the emperor from 1185 until 1868, were equivalent to governors general, though they often had far greater power than a governor general would ordinarily have. Imperial Japan From 1895 to 1945, Taiwan was administered by the Japanese governor general of Taiwan, Japanese, Taiwan Zong Du Taiwan Sotoku. From 1910 to 1945, Korea was administered by the Japanese Governor General of Korea, Japanese, Chao Xian Zongdu Chosen Sotoku. Islamic Republic of Iran. The provincial authority is headed by an appointed Governor General, Persian, a standard Ostander. Topic. See also. Administrator of the Government Government House, the name of the official residences of Governors General in the British Commonwealth past and present Governor Governor-in-Chief Governor General of the Philippines High Commissioner Lieutenant Governor Aruba and the Netherlands Antilles, territories of the Dutch monarchy Gubernia, Governor Generalship in the Russian Empire Representatives of the Commonwealth of Nations Each current Commonwealth Realms Governor General has his, her own article List of Governors General of Antigua and Barbuda List of Governors General of Australia List of Governors General of the Bahamas List of Governors General of Barbados List of Governors General of Belize List of Governors General of Canada List of Governors General of Grenada List of Governors General of Jamaica Governor General of Mauritius List of Governors General of New Zealand Governor General of Papua New Guinea List of Governors General of St. Lucia List of Governors General of St. Vincent and the Grenadines List of Governors General of St. Kitts and Nevis Governor General of the Solomon Islands Governor General of Tuvalu Roman Governors List of Roman governors of Asia List of Ottoman governors of Egypt Some defunct political entities, Governor-General of the Irish Free State, Governor-General of the Federation of the West Indies, Governor-General of the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland, Governor of Southern Rhodesia, Governor-General of French Indochina Some former Commonwealth realms in the Americas Governor-General of Guyana, Governor-General of Trinidad and Tobago some former Commonwealth realms in Africa, Governor-General of Nigeria, Governor-General of Sierra Leone, Governor-General of Tanzania, Governor-General of the Union of South Africa, Governor-General of Uganda, Governor-General of Gambia, Governor-General of Kenya, Governor-General of Ghana, Governor-General of Malawi, 
Some former Commonwealth realms in Asia Governor General of India, Governor General of Pakistan, Governor General of Sri Lanka. Some former Commonwealth realms in Europe Governor General of Malta. Some former Commonwealth realms in Oceania Governor General of Fiji. Topic Note In Canada the title Governor General is always used unhyphenated. In Australia and New Zealand, the term is always hyphenated. <laughs>